Hello, here is a gross specimen of a tumor in the thyroid gland that is actually quite extensively invading into the surrounding structures and we have an on block resection. So let's orientate ourselves. This is the anterior surface and this is the posterior surface. We have a little strip of skin here and here we can see the tongue, the epiglottis, the larynx in this region, the trachea here inferiorly, and uh, there is a very large tumor that is arising in the thyroid and going beyond it. This is likely to be part of the thyroid cartilage. You can see the tumor has actually gone all the way through um, and posterior to it. So let's have a closer look at the posterior view. And we can see the epiglottis here. This is the airy epiglottic fold. This is the region of the hypopharynx and the piriform sinus would be in this area. The larynx has not been cut open so we're not able to actually see the focal cords here. And then more inferiorly we can see the proximal part of the esophagus. Here is the actual specimen and this is the anterior surface we're looking at. So here is a little strip of skin. This is the fascia over the thyroid tumor. And this is the cut surface of the tumor. That is the tongue superiorly. This is the right lateral surface with the trachea inferiorly and the skin. This is the posterior surface. And here is the tongue with the tongue mucosa, the epiglottis the region of the larynx, and this is the region of the esophagus. So the cut surface uh, shows a very large, fleshy, tan-colored tumor mass that is pretty much involving the entire thyroid gland. These paler geographic areas here represent areas of necrosis, which is a sign of an aggressive and rapidly growing tumor. The tumor has gone and infiltrated in through and past the thyroid cartilage into the structures posteriorly and in fact um, we can actually see that it is protruding into the larynx. So if you think about the clinical presentation of this patient, there will definitely be abnormalities in the voice, there will be problems with swallowing as well and possibly even stridor or difficulties with breathing because there is definite compression of the trachea. It is not possible to determine the histologic type by looking at the specimen grossly, but typically the more aggressive thyroid tumors would include a poorly differentiated thyroid carcinoma and also anaplastic carcinoma of the thyroid. So in summary, this is a malignant tumor arising in the thyroid gland and invading the surrounding structures, including the thyroid cartilage and posteriorly to involve the larynx.